Thank you for taking the time to listen to my pre-listing presentation. I'd like to start by introducing myself. My name is Robin Ruddy and I've been a real estate agent since 1998. I earned my broker's license in 2006 which allowed me to open the firm Music Row Realty. And along the way I've earned many advanced designations as you can see from this slide. Here's a list of some of my recent sales and listings. Let's talk about strategically pricing your home to get it sold quickly. As you probably know, most buyers are looking for a bargain and most sellers are looking to get the most for their house if they can. What we're looking for is that sweet spot in the middle, the common price range, that market value of your house. And what a lot of people don't understand is I don't set the price, the seller doesn't set the price, the market sets the price. Most listings have a bell curve of activity where the majority of buyers come through your home in the beginning. So when you price your home correctly from the beginning, you have a better chance of striking a deal when there's more competition for your home. We don't want our listings to stay on the market for very long because as time goes by, you start to attract offers below market value. Let's talk about absorption rate in Davidson County. Right now, there's no doubt about it, but we're in a buyer's market. There are 4,372 homes currently on the market in Davidson County. 361 of them sold last month. So when you do the math, that comes out to be a 52-week absorption rate, which basically means it's going to take a year to sell all of that inventory at the rate that we're going. So this is a number that changes. It ebbs and flows with the market, but right now that's what we have. And so when we're pricing your home, we need to keep that in mind. At Music Row Realty, we have a pricing policy that's been very successful. Once we determine the listing price and put it on the market, we watch it very closely. And if after 10 days we've got no showings, we're, we just miss the ballpark altogether and we have to do a major price adjustment. So we're going to look for a 7 to 15 percent price adjustment. Now in that first month, if we get showings but no offers, we're probably a little bit high. So we may look for a 3 to 6 percent adjustment. And then if we get offers in that first month, we're going to sell your house for the top dollar. The latest NAR statistic says that 90% of the people looking for homes start their search on the internet. Our marketing objective is to reach out to that 90% of the population. We send e-flyers out to all the realtors in our database highlighting our featured listings. This is a list of some of the many websites that we'll put your listing on. A picture is worth a thousand words and your home is going to rise above the competition with more pictures. Over 123 million people watch YouTube every day and your home is going to be prominently featured on the Music Row Realty YouTube channel. With Facebook and Twitter we can reach out virally to more people than ever before and share your YouTube virtual tour. Open houses can be a great marketing tool. You're going to find buyers that are just starting their search for a home in your neighborhood. We also provide weekly feedback reports from centralized showings. If there have been no showings, I'll just send you an email that will tell you that we've had no activity that week. To save time at the listing appointment, I like to get my sellers to go ahead and fill out the disclosure forms prior to the appointment. Um, I'm going to walk you through filling out those forms on this video to make it easier for you to fill them out. We're going to be filling out two forms, the lead based paint disclosure and the Tennessee property condition disclosure. If your property was built after 1978, you can skip this form, but if not, we'll need to fill it out. On uh, page 1, on line 14, you put the property address, and then you just choose one of the boxes on line 17 or 19, whichever one applies to you. On page 2, all you need to do is sign and date where it says Seller. The Tennessee Residential Property Condition Disclosure conveys to the buyer everything you know about the house. And so on page one, all you need to do is fill out the stuff at the top. On page two, you'll check the boxes besides everything that's included in your house. Page three has some more questions to answer. So just fill out everything on page three. There are some questions that uh, 
asks you about any defects or malfunctions, and you just answer yes, no, or unknown. Page four is just more questions. Fill all those out. Page five, more questions. Just answer all of those questions to the best of your knowledge. And finally, the signature page. Just sign it where it says seller and we're done with the disclosures. Great job. Now the last thing is for us to get together and for me to get all your questions answered. Together we're going to go over the comps and figure out what the best market price for your house would be to get it sold quickly. And I'd like to get from you some any photos you might have or floor plans so that I can add that to the YouTube video that I'm going to make. That's my first step in the marketing plan and I'll use that as the foundation for all of my internet marketing. I'll need a set of keys from you to put in the lockbox and that's it. I look forward to meeting you and seeing you soon and working with you and getting your home sold quickly. Thank you for your time and listening to my listing presentation.